When I was 16, I had to read this book. For those of you who are listening and are not seeing, this is a book called Department of Licensing Washington Driver Guide. This was my Bible at the age of 16. I read it maybe five or six times. I thought I knew how to drive because I already had experience and I read this book to just solidify my knowledge. We were about three months, three years into United States so English was a little bit tough for me. I remember going to the Columbia Clearwater office over there to take the test. I went, took the first test in English and I failed. I remember being disappointed. I was convinced all the questions on the test were not in the book. <laughs> I'm like, I read the book, I know what the book says. And whatever questions they have, they probably have gotten from another book that I, they never gave me. But you know what they told me surprisingly? Is that they're not allowed to put things on the test that are not in this book. But they are allowed to put things on a test that are not in my mind. God is not obligated to give you challenges. The challenges that you will face in your life are proportional to this book but not to you in this book. Just like I went to take a test and I had a certain amount of this book in my head and I failed. You know I wish I would say I took a second, a second test and succeeded but I didn't. I took a second test in Russian and I failed again. It doesn't matter which book I read, Russian or English. I just needed to get more of this book inside of me for me to, to fa face and to overcome the test. And I remember reading it third time and now I memorized it. I read it, I tested it, I did everything and I got so much of this book inside of me that it was coming out of me. I knew every single thing in this book and now when I went again to take exactly the same test I found out that actually everything I needed to have to answer the test was in this book. The problem is this book was not inside of me. That's exactly what happens with life. Every challenge you're facing, this book has answers to help you conquer it every demon that comes your way this book can crush it God people say always God will never let anything happen to you that you cannot handle that's like saying a teacher will never give you a test that you don't know answers for it's a joke teacher will never give you a test of things that are not in the book but it is your task how much of the things in the book go into your head not the teachers and therefore sometimes we face challenges that are bigger than us and we say where is God in this the same God who allows these challenges gives us victory over these challenges in this book in his name in the community of believers and when we allow these things to penetrate us on a deeper level we will overcome them if we allow them to come into superficial level and just and we just do it just enough to get by you will hit a test and realize oh my goodness this is bigger than me and this is not a point to throw away the bible when i failed the first time my point was not to set this on fire my point was to come back home and realize i just got a little bit more studying to do not less when you got hit and you cannot overcome something it doesn't mean you need to pray less actually Jesus says you need to pray a little bit more because this kind means this challenge you are facing has a little bit bigger than your faith and so you gotta get your faith worked up to the level of the challenge so the challenge can be overcome nothing in your life will ever be allowed in your life without you having what it takes to overcome Amen. nothing every curse that has come maybe against your way every demonic activity everything in the family the mess and the chaos nothing will ever be permitted to come that you already don't have a victory for but this victory has to leave from the pages of this book into the lips of the believer this victory has to leave from here into here and from here into here and from here into here 
it has to come inside of us and it has to take control of us and it has to possess us like the same way this book started to possess a 16 year old teenager 